Hey, YouTube fans. That's my line. <laughs> I beat her to it today. Today we're making oatmeal cookies with leftover oatmeal packages. Trying something new. So, we're adding two cups of flour, all purpose. That's one. Mm hmm. And that's two. Yep. Then we need a teaspoon of baking soda. It goes in the sink. There you go. Teaspoon or tablespoon? Teaspoon. And a teaspoon of salt. We found a recipe online, folks, and that's what we're following. It's from All Recipes. So, we've already preheated our oven to 375, so you're aware. Okay. So, now that she's added that, she's just going to put that off to the side for me, and uh, I'll do up the dishes really quickly, and then she's going to take over the camera work. Say hi. Bye. Bye. Gotta have the comedians in the boat in here. Woo. Just going to do up these two dishes quickly, because I need them both again. Because we do need these for... The next few things we have to put in here, folks. So I'm just going to dry these off really, really quickly. But we've used the flour and everything like that. And we usually put this stuff away when we're done. So that's what we're going to do. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's sleeping. So we'll put her flour away really quickly. Ha ha ha. And we're done with the baking soda. And salt. So next, we're going to add the other stuff, which is one cup of butter. So we're going to do one cup of sugar and one cup of packed brown sugar first, just because I don't want to have too much brown sugar because it's in those packages over there. Yeah, but we still do have to add some. And I'm not really keen on adding it. Because we've already, like she said, we got some already in those packages. Because the packages of uh, the oatmeal stuff mm -hmm. has brown sugar because the factory of Quaker Oats already puts brown sugar into them already. Because yeah. we buy the assorted packs, folks, here. So I'm just going to put this off to the side because I won't need it. I'm not going to really add any of this because we do already have it coming in from the packages. But we are going to add the two eggs and the cup of butter. Now, you're, you can use butter. We prefer butter, too. We'll tell you that right now, folks. But we're going to use margarine because we're out of butter. And I don't feel like picking up more because we're trying to stay home as much as we can to help flatten the curve, which I am no, I'm emphasizing so much on. But I do want to say thank you again to the frontline workers. And I do want to say that everybody's doing a really good job on this. So we might be getting back to work soon, folks. Let's all hope. Okay? You won't be back to work for schools because you're a bus driver. No, I probably won't be back to work for the bus company until the new year. But that's fine. When we're done with something, we're just going to put it off to the side. That way I don't got to deal with it afterwards. So then we have to da, 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 da. Then we have the vanilla. We're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it went pretty quick on this. Now, it says three cups of oats. So we're going to measure this out properly just because we want to. We're just going to dump that off. She's going to raise you up a little bit, folks, just because she thinks I'm a smurf here. I'm 
unfortunately I am not. So we're going to do it really, really quickly. We do have some open here already. So we want three pack. We want three three cups. As you can see, she's dancing a little bit there, folks, but that's fine. to make sure the recycling went out, which is what we always try to do also here at the Fudge Buddy House. Now these are just different flavors, random picks. my trusty spatula there, folks, and push it in, just to help it out. Got big paws. Yeah. So I'm, I know I spill some in there, and I'll clean that up in a second, folks, so everybody's aware. Because we don't want to have. That's go going into the thing. Push it all the way in. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix it up by hand, folks. If you can see, you don't have to. It's the point of I'm doing it because my hands are really, really big, and I don't mind. And these cookies are just big bear paws. Basically, yes, we folks. And I'm just basically going to want it, because I want to get it to the point where I can use the mixer a little bit, a little bit more better, and I don't have everything flying around. You can use a spoon. I do admit that is a little bit easier, too, if you don't have big hands like I do, who is just basically taking the ingredients and mixing them together very, very hard. So, because what I'm doing, folks, is just, just mixing it like this, as you can see. And then once I get it all mixed together like this, to the point of where it's nothing, nothing major left over like this, if you can see folks, all the flowers mixed in, all the eggs mixed in too. Fortunately, like I say, when you have big hands like me, kind of does the job. So what we're going to do folks now is we're going to let this chill for an hour. She's going to look up at me for a second. We're going to let this chill for an hour and we will be right back. Boop. Hello, you two people. So, our dough's been cooling for a little bit, about an hour. So, we just want to take some, roll it into a little bowl. Like so. We just want to put some on the tray like this first, and we'll do the rest in a second here. Not much hard work to this part. 
Again, I do wash my hands before I cut, touch anything so people are aware. If my assistant there wants to take the fork there with the sugar, if she turns it over, she'll, you'll show, show them. All we're going to do with the fork, with the sugar, is simply... I'm just making sure that it's all dusted because the sugar dust doesn't want to stay onto it. Boop. You just want to press down a little bit. You don't have to press down hard and it doesn't be sugar like flattened like that. There you go, that's all it is. And you're just going to do that with each of these balls. These spheres. spheres. Got to be politically correct nowadays out there, folks. Now, when we eat these, folks, I'm just going to tell you right now, each one is going to be a different flavor. Because we bought the variety pack of oatmeal. Mm, yeah. So it's going to be each, a little bit different each time. She's going to show me for a second or two while we're doing this. So while we're doing this, folks, we're going to put this in for 8 to 10 minutes. And then it'll let it cool afterwards for about 5. Now you should be able to get at least 2 cookie trays out of this. You should get at least 24 if you're lucky. Depending on the size of the cookie you want to make. So. And sorry, we're not having the Cookie Monster here because <laughs> A, he's in uh, New York City, and, and B, he's also doing isolation for the children. Yeah, but he's also in the States, and I know there's a big hoopla about Trump wanting the borders open and everything like that. So we're not going to get into that. It's just a bunch of hoopla right now, folks. Let's not get into it, okay? Try to make these in a nice size. So she's going to show that. And then, since I just wash off my hands now, folks, she's going to back up. Take these. Our oven is preheated to 375, where you want it to be at. Let's put them in. 10 minutes. So, we're going to wrap up the Bunch of Buddy Hour, folks, if you come with me. So, yeah, I can always see you. So, very simple. Yeah, we can't show you what they look like baked, but you know what oatmeal cookies look like baked. So, remember, folks, budget-wise. Budget conscience. Budget healthy. Budget smart. And always, always budget-friendly with all everybody out there, folks. Remember, let's flatten the curve. Big support out to everyone out there, including the bus drivers. I just heard they are now classified as an essential service, and they're going to be helping to deliver masks and stuff like that, hopefully, for people. Let's hope that helps out the curve, folks. Talk to you soon.